Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to take a screenshot and how to print on your Samsung Galaxy A16. The screenshot is super easy. You're simply going to hold down on the power button and the volume down button for one second and this will trigger a screenshot just like this. So power, volume down, I'm going to press them together and hold them for one second and then let go of the button. One, two, three, hold, let it go. You'll see the screen flash, this menu will pop up and then you tap on that little bubble and then this will take you to the gallery to be able to edit the photo after. Let's tap on gallery, tap always. And now I can make any edits to the picture I would like. For example, I can crop it by pressing the pencil and drag from the corners if I want to bring shrink the photo down a bit. If I tap on this fourth option here, I can access stickers, I can draw on the picture, I can add text. Now play around with these different things. You've got filters and a bunch of other cool things you can do. And when you're all set, simply hit save in the upper right corner to save it to your photo gallery, okay? Now let me show you that screenshot method one more time. Power, volume down, hold, let it go. There you go. And it'll just pop up just like that. Now. How would I print? Let's say I want to print that screenshot. Well, we're going to swipe up, go to the gallery right here, and find that picture. It's already here, which is great. Go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots, and go to print. Now, obviously, you're going to need a few more things to make this work. You will need a wireless printer. Now, I am currently using an Epson the Epson XP4200, and I'll link it on screen right here. This is a very inexpensive printer, and it works great with just about all Android phones. Let me show you how to link that printer with your phone. So up here it says select a printer. Now first, obviously you need to be on Wi-Fi. You need to make sure your printer is set up and you know what network it's on. Once the printer is set up on your network, swipe down from the top of the screen, Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. When this is lit up in white, that means that your Wi-Fi is turned on. In the corner, I can see my Wi-Fi symbol so I know that I'm connected. Next, I wanna tap on Select Printer and tap on this little drop down here. And it's gonna show my Epson printer is on the network. So I'll tap on Epson XP4200. And then I'm gonna tap on this little orange button to basically send it to the printer to print. Now, if you want to make modifications, you can do that by tapping on some of the options here. Tap on the number for copies. One, you can change this to however many copies you want. You can switch from black and white to color here. Double-sided, you know, portrait to customize it there and then tap this button to send it right to the printer. All right. Now, that's just how to print a picture. Next, I want to show you how to print an email. So let's go to our Gmail app. And we're gonna go to a Gmail and let's just print one of our emails. So here, I just picked an email at random. Let's say I wanna print this email. Go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots and come down to print. And here, same thing, select a printer. Usually once you select the printer one time, it will, it will automatically load, but sometimes it won't. And if so, that's no problem. You just simply go up here and select it again, press the orange button, and then it will print off just like that. Now, lastly, I wanna show you how to print a website. Let's say you're on Chrome, you're on the internet, and you wanna print off a news page or something like that. So let's go on our page here. And let's select one of these uh, articles that's right here. Coin breakup allegations. Okay. Go to the upper right corner, tap on the three dots right here. You'll notice, oh, where's our print button? So for Chrome, it, there's one extra step. You're gonna tap on the share button first, and then you'll see the print button right down here. Tap on print, select the printer, Epson. Now I wanna point out one more thing. You'll notice 
This uh, article, if I print it, is 11 pages. Right here it says 1 of 11. Well, you may not want every page. In the bottom right corner of each page, there's a check. You can simply uncheck the pages that you don't want to print. That's an easy way to save yourself on a bit of ink. When you're ready to go, go ahead and tap on that orange button to send it right to the printer, all right? And I want to close out the video just sharing a really cool product you might be interested in. This is a fitness tracker from Samsung that links really well up with the Samsung A16. It's only $59.99 right now, and this basically will track your steps, your heart rate. You can have it track your water and your sleep. So it's really cool. It, I used it for a few months, and it really motivated me to work out more. So I wanted to share it in the video because it's a very good price and it works well with this phone and it's a great way to motivate yourself in terms of fitness and working out and things like that. It's also water resistant so you can wear it in the pool or the shower and um, if you're interested in getting one, I'll link one on screen right in this little area right here. Check it out. It's a great price but it won't be that price forever so make sure you jump on one while supplies last. If you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I'll link here for a playlist so you can see all of my other Samsung A16 videos. And I'll also link another really helpful video right here as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.